Today, the election for student body president has come to a close. For those who have been absent, a small series of clips and personal guidance from our most controversial candidate, Donald J. Trump, have been composed. Hi, you already probably know me. I'm soon to be your student body president, Donald J. Trump. I plan to make BCS great again. But first, I'll have to get rid of Obama. Uh, I mean, make plans to do when I get student body president. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. An extremely credible source has called my office and told me that Barack Osa oh no, Obama's birth certificate is a fraud. One moment. Let's just let's just get my manager so I can tweet it out. Are you sure you want me to? Well, what else are women for? All right, I've just posted it to Twitter for you, sir. Let me guide you with my wisdom and show you all a little of my life. First of all, my number one rule, so all of my tweets can be acceptable to the public. Also, all of my tweets are way better than anyone. Anyone who criticizes me is just a, one of those jealous Hillary Clintons. For example, yesterday I tweeted, the beauty of me is that I am very rich. Excuse me, Mr. Trump. Not now, Kelly. Can you see that I'm doing a video for my millions, nor billions of fans? And not everything's about you, Kelly. I bet hundreds, no, thousands of people would want this job. Now, leave. See, this is why I can't employ many women like her in my firm. I just keep around to avoid people calling me sexist. Can you imagine me sexist? It's not my fault there's a glass ceiling over there. They're the ones who can't do the job right. Mr. Trump, it is ready. Oh, give me the good stuff. Uh, as a politician, a Pole, as a Putin, a Polish, and soon to be president, I train myself to stay up 24 7 or 24K like all of you hipsters with the Bruno Mars. Mr. Trump, it's time for your 4 a.m. tweet. I make it say the concept of global was created by the Chinese, or the Chinese, in order to make the U.S. the strongest country ever. The manufacturing are non-competitive. As you see, all of my thoughts are right and not wrong. So. So, Trump, do you think that you are always 100% right, and why? I am always right, because I'm always right, and I am rich, and women love me. Okay, and what do you think about Hillary Clinton? I say, Hill, no. She deserves to be in prison. What an absolutely disgusting piece of a human. I mean, can you even imagine such an ugly president? And if she loses, we probably have the most handsome president ever. Today, we have a super behind the scenes interview with a special guest, Kellyanne Conway. So Ms. Conway, what can we expect from the big speech later this evening? 
Well, I would just like to say that this is going to be one of the most successful speeches ever. And how will it be one of the most successful speeches ever? Because Donald Trump is going to expose his plan to making BCS great again. Well, uh, I look forward to seeing his speech, and so do the people watching our channel. Now, we will be seeing Donald Trump's speech right after this commercial break. As your new leader, I will replace your useless desks and tables with tanning beds. Boys and girls will now have uniforms. They will have established female students who will have Ivanka dresses only. And there will be no financial aid available. For all students, rifles will be available at your school stores or at your local CVS. We value our students and we want to protect them from our bears. Thank you for your time. I think your fly is down. Oh, God, 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 God. Well, you're fired. <laughs> and you're welcome. I'm fired, but I'm yeah. going to make America great again. I will start at public schools such as our Birmingham Public School, BCS. Now I'm getting ready for the final debate before the student election. Don't worry, everyone, I'm so smart. Nothing could possibly go wrong. My only opponent here is ugly. Crooked Hillary. It's like she thinks she can beat me. A tip for you all. Money buys everything. So, here we are at the debate with our two candidates, Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. So, why do you think that you're the best person to vote for student body president? Well, she's not. That is a great question. No, First it's of not. all, I would like to say that I am grateful to wow. all of my supporters. Wow. I think that a president should respect and honor wrong. students. Wrong. Um, and everyone should be treated equally. Wrong. Each person here should Money. be valued and heard. Though I know these values are not held by many. Um, which is what makes me a more just and clearly right choice for presidency. Everyone deserves no. the right to be treated equally <coughs> and given equal opportunity. No, nope, not the bad idea. Don't get me. No. You're lying! You're lying! <laughs> you lying. You're stupid! Okay, keep running. We'll just cut it. <laughs> you, you, I bet oh you my god, can you please keep everything. Let's Guys. just keep this scene up That's to there. That's what I literally said! Right just keep going! No, but like, we can't wow. cut it out in the middle. Now, now, reporter, you have all people to know. Women do not want to be treated equal. Women want to be taken care of. Now, reporter. Do you even know her name? No. <laughs> now, now, this is actually a show. You're a leader. Someone is strong. You are a weak one. I am the strong one. You are not. You know what? What? I am the strong one. This is the leader. This woman is the leader. The last President Obama, he messed everything up, and it's, it will go, keep going downhill if that woman that I see over there is elected. Now I am done. Now shut up. Yeah, I'm excited for this. I'm really prepared, and I feel pretty confident. Today is the day, everyone. It's the last day for the students to decide who's the right president for student body. Now, Hillary Clinton, let's start with you. All right, then. Well, I think we're done, and we've heard enough. Now, let's get ready for this new election right. that's coming up this month. But I didn't get to explain any of my policies or talk about my political positions on anything. Calm down, Helen. No one's going to vote for you anyway. Now, let's get right into the news. <laughs> back for our second speech of our campaign with our front runner Donald J. Trump. We are here live at BCS for our campaign speech. To my millions of mindless followers. Boom. I have built a great wall and nobody builds walls better than me. Believe me, I built them very inexpensively between four to twelve billion dollars. I will build a great, great wall around BCS, and Berkshire will pay for it, mark my words. And 
Oh, thank you, thank you. I know you love me. How much money do you want? I want one million dollars. Two. Yeah. Good so I can now win the election and don't tell anyone, okay? Yeah. How much do you want to keep this quiet? I want 100 ants. <laughs> you bitch, you want to keep this quiet. I want all the pixie sticks. David, I...